more attention. Oh boy. Okay, so I gotta talk to these guys. So this is Gudani. I already know I don't like these guys at all. I don't like the I don't like the leader. He's too angry. And I can't navigate their building. I get lost every time I'm in that building. So I don't wanna be there. This I like this lady. Hmm, meeny meeny miny moo catch a pick uh, it's two. Okay. Warframe gives you motion sickness and it's a great game. It is a great game. They put a lot of, out a lot of content. Yeah, they do. They do. It's, it's all the movement. I can see how it gives you motion sickness. All the movement, all the different characters, all the jumping, all the all the everything. Yeah, I think the the something's wrong with the uh my alerts. Best way to learn your way around is to get lost. True. Oh, you're trying to entice me to join them, aren't you? Hey Z, were you trying to play Warframe with me? Are you on PC? Oh, two? You're on PS4. Right? It's not cross-platform yet. Probably API issue. Yeah, because it doesn't usually do that. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Hold on. Ah, I take it the elder seats your words of trust your heart. Have you resolved to entwine your destiny with that of the twin adder? Oh my goodness. I mean, I am really having a hard time with this. Priors have great songs. <laughs> Honestly, no one has tried to sell me for, for Gridania. I feel like Moon is trying to tell me about the flame officer. Big ugly monsters. Okay. He's big and beefy. How is the Admiral's speech? Ah, but you need not explain. That you stand before me now is the answer enough. You have resolved to join the Maelstrom, have you not? Something about rum? No. Your storm? So you're with the middle guy, Moonshine? The sea, the ships, the pirate life? They have two enemies. Storm people do have dope clothes. Oh, all the all the. What are you doing? All, all the all the pros, no cons yet. Dude, I'm not getting off for a minute, and then after I get off, your brother's getting on to to stream whatever he's going to stream, probably Minecraft, and then you. Okay, not right now. Your storm, but your house on primal and oh, so your storm as well. Keep in mind, you can eventually switch, but I capped them out before doing that. Oh, so I can actually have all, I can do all three eventually. So your storm, your storm as well. This is the pirate people, right? Okay, so both of you are Storm. So I'd be joining my new sisters. All right, I'm about to press it. I'm touching it. Ah, okay. That's the spirit last for allies like you. Your serpent, you just went there because everything was pretty much in one place. Flame equals big place you got lost in. <laughs> yes, Serpent equals tree land. Yeah. Yeah, everyone, everything is all. All the rich, dusty brats. <laughs> That's perfect. For allies like you, how much stronger is our crew? Let us brave the seas together, friend. Now the choice is made. It's time to add your name to our roles. Make your way to Limsa Lominsa and seek out our grand company's headquarters. Maelstrom Command is located in the upper decks. I will send word of a to personal officer to expect you. The duties of a Maelstrom soldier can be both arduous and challenging, but I promise you, you will not regret this choice. May your passage be swift and your bearing sure. I'm just, I'm ready. Grid, xenophobic tall folks. Oh, two, being you're short. Oh no. 
Ew. Did I pick wrong? Okay, the company you keep. Alright. So this is Limsa Limsa Laminsa. Do I have a teleport to that place? Should I should I go the lower decks? Wait. Western Lacoste. Okay, I should go Western. Right? Should I do the Western? You hate your PlayStation? Oh, now you got issues on your account while your ID is Bat King. <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. In Final Fantasy? Yes, true. I'm not a Grenadian. I, they don't even know where I'm, I'm from. I just fell out of the sky like a beautiful angel. You technically, yeah. Oh my god, words today. So, <laughs> Bat King 26. <laughs> so, it changed your name. My name is Jim. <laughs> Born and raised grid folks are some xenophobes. Lower decks. Okay. No, here? Or do I want to go here? Because this is the what I've got to go right here. This is like Western. Oh, maybe not. I'll go. I'll go lower decks. Well, I'm super tall. I think I'm probably the tallest. Uh, am I the tallest character in the game? My my uh my species. Hey sis! No, I'm not because she's clearly taller than me, and I'm having I'm having issues right now with this. Okay, let's see. I do not like being shorter than others. Because in real life, I'm usually not. Here we go. I'm right next to it. Now go straight. No, go this way. Nope, go that way. Go back. Go back and up. I think. Yes. Maybe not. Wait, yes. Now take the elevator upstairs? Okay. Right here. Right to the airship landing? Wait, hold on. Ride lift to drowning witch. What you need? <laughs> Being zoomed all the way out of the map is gonna get have you lost. I know. You're the opposite. You're always looking at the top of other women's heads, so you have to be short in the game. I am too. Drowning witch. Okay. I look at. I look down at everybody. I'm five eleven and a half. It's not under maintenance? What's under maintenance? What you mean your uh your game? I think the right way. Well it saw you. It saw that you were spending so much time on the a game did it that's weird i allowed everything it's time to use your slow computer there you are storm yeah these mods are weird hail adventurer what business have you of maelstrom command how will you respond I'm here to enlist if you will have me. I believe you're expecting me, of course. It's okay. I, our recruitment officer, send word of your company. It should be my honor to induct you into the ranks of the Maelstrom. Now, before I can accept your oath, you must be aware of several... Sir! Yeah? What is a private? And this had better be important. Perhaps you're not. You're not stupid. Did you pop him on the head? That's what the pop. Sir, we received a report from a lookout in Lower Lower Lanoski. Yes, sir. Imperial forces have fired upon a high wind skyways airship. Oh no. The vessel is in a bad way, sir. It appears to be banking for an emergency landing in Cedarwood. Yikes. Cedarwood? Damn it. We have no troops available in that area. The bulk of our infantry is bogged down on the coast. 
skirmishing with the fishbacks. This is highly irregular, but I fear your first duty of service to the maelstrom must needs be unofficial. What? I can't even get my inductee. Got a huge head. If our man in Lower Lanaskia is correct, the airship will come down in a territory crawling with Imperial scouts. If there are any survivors, we must reach them before the Garleans do. Make haste to Cedarwood, locate this airship, and if any of its occupants are alive, make sure they come to no further harm. We'll see about swearing you in upon my return. I traveled the half the world, and I can't even get my badge. Boo. Where am I going anyway? I always walk out like I know where I'm going right away. Okay, I just have to, I have to foot it there, wait. Oh my god, what I wouldn't get- Oh, I thought these were like giant chairs. Wait, are they? No, but that's kind of cool. I like the way that looks. It looks like I could probably teleport here. Oh, I'm not attuned there. Okay, we gotta go there. Girl, you are too excited. How can you change your user ID? Oh, just make a right and keep straight back. That's you, by the way, where? <laughs> that was you laughing. <laughs> there is a mood. Uh, oh, is this you right here? <laughs> Hello. Send friend request, I think. Oh, that person who else our friend, that's you laughing. <laughs> I was gonna say you like a party request. You haven't seen that character in forever, you don't think you can. Yeah. Like if you want to change your name, I think it's ten bucks. Isn't it? Isn't it $10? <laughs> the one that you said is like, doesn't get any love. Wait, I, I think I'm going in the wrong direction. Wait, did your... Okay, I think I'm going in the wrong direction. Yeah, it's $10 because I was, I was like, oh, I'm gonna change my name. And I was, then I was like, eh, I'm trying to get through here. I'm trying to get out this way and then go out. So it looks like I need to go through here. Is there a door here? Wait, let's look. Um, I'm Confucius. Keep going? In what direction? You're so close to throwing your game outside? That's probably not gonna let me out anyway, but... Okay, I'm just gonna stand still. One sec. Let me get you a tune first. Okay. Yes. All right. We go this way? No. Level 71. Oh my goodness. See, these little tiny ones don't even show on the map. Jay, did you say you needed me to talk to on Discord about something?
Oh, wow. I need to open my eyes more often. Uh, you know what? They do show on this map. Wow. They show on the teeny mini mini map. Oh, which word? Oh, go inside. Oh gosh, I lost you. I looked away for like 20 milliseconds and they're gone. Okay, let me see. Can I just click on your name? Teleport to Plaza. You're talking in private chat. Oh. Oh, okay. Right now you're still in the, the overview of your map. Teleport to Plaza. Okay. One of these? You mean the one that's right here? The lower decks? Use the mini. No, no, go to the little one outside. Oh, okay. Oh, there you are. Okay. All right. This is such a cool system. Oh. Big chocolate teddy bear. I've been missing <laughs> so bad. I always look at that map with that one. Okay, Moist, link to whatever you register the game as. However, if you create a new game, you have attuned yourself to all the shards. Okay, nice. Awesome. Okay, I can't move. Oh, there we go. You'll get the same view when you're seeing on your minimap, but bigger. Oh. Okay, so how do I do that? Oh, you mean like if I double click on it? Uh, okay. However, if you create a new character with that other name, you should see it in the same server and you can play on that character. Now we gotta get here. Keep in mind you're logged in as the launcher is different from your character name. Oh, Okay, so now I can use all of these to go different places. Nice. Okay, so I got to go to Cedarwood. It's blank right now because you haven't explored yet. Do me a favor and click on your quest text. My quest text, okay. There it is. Let me zoom out. So I'm right here. Okay, that's lower. So we go to lower. Mm 
You need to get out of the Tempest Gate? Okay. So it looks like I'm going to... Uh, the main place, I hope. Oh no, I picked the wrong place. Alright. Achievement unlocked. Tempest Gate. <laughs> oh, right here? here? Okay, here we go. Ah, wow. Nice. I like that. That is so cool. Thank you. I would have never figured that out on my own. <laughs> yeah, little crystals in the city make it easy to get around. They sure do. I gotta keep my eyes peeled for them now. Wild dodos. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely make sure I keep my eye out and attune myself to each one. Level 71. And then get there. These dodo birds are adorable. On oh, Earth is behind me. Oh, you mean I could have been riding this entire time? On your giant whale? <laughs> Ride. Hello. But we're here. She's like, get down, get off. How do I even get off? You look at YouTube how to fix it. <laughs> Wait, hold on, how do I get off? <laughs> oh my gosh. Exit, escape. How do I get off of here? Y'all, I'm stuck on Moby Dick. Was Moby Dick the man or the whale? I can't remember. We're just enjoying a nice, delicious meal. Right click the chicken icon. Oh. No, wait. Right click the chocobo chicken icon. Curse of the whale, you shall never leave. I see. It's very soothing. Okay, right click. Icon. Where's the chicken icon? See up the health bars. Oh, this guy. Oh, okay. Oh, swallow me. Oh, proceed. Oh, we're about to do a battle. Uh, where's the dude I'm supposed to be talking to? Oh, you okay, buddy? The party has been disbanded. I'm sad. Oh man, this one, this game is like so rewarding. I love it. 
Oh. Even the dodo bird ran. No, there's something there. An adventurer. What are you doing out here? No, wait. Let me find some covers first. Got this disadvantages? Yeah. I have never seen myself get tired. Maelstrom Command sent you? How do I know you're not an Imperial spy? You don't even have a uniform. Man, Sprout reminds you of those dang dodos. Pump them dodos. <laughs> Be at ease, sir. We are of the Maelstrom. Your Garland Ironworks engineer, yes? One of our lookouts reported the attack on your craft, and we're here to rescue you. You must be TTV. <laughs> Good work on reaching our friend here before the Imperials. Big boy. What are we looking at? We have fixed the boat or the ship. I've never seen a craft of this design. It must be Garland's work. Is there no end to the man's treachery? The secrets of Magitech belong in Imperial hands. They are not to be squandered in Inzorian savages. Uh, who's that? Somebody's hiding. We are taking this craft back to the fortress. Dismantle it if you must and bring the engineer. Someone must pay for Garland's crimes. Aw, he looks so scared. Hmm, scouting party from Castrum Ossidens, I'd say. Seems they want your ship, engineer. Wedge, you have to help him. That fool of a Lala fell was hiding inside the Chiny Bronco. What? The Chiny Bronco? Isn't that the new design people have been whispering about? It's the first sheriff ship we've built since the Calamity. The first since Master Garland, well, since he went missing. After years of work, she was finally ready for her first test flight. And she was soaring, she really was, till those bastards blasted her out of the sky. Oh no. The Titanic. Alright, pay attention. We're going to hit these Imperials hard and fast. If they want a sir souvenir from Azoria, they can have a knife in the gut. But they're not getting that ship. And oh, don't forget to save the Lalafell. <laughs> Are you sharpening your knife to come to her when she comes over to your house to fight? Is that what I'm seeing? It looks like a sharpened knife, but then again, it looks like you're holding like a, a cup of tea or something. Yes, we will. We're ready. Like a tidal wave, last charge. Did I get anything new to wear? I'm growing fond of this outfit, but I know in like three more levels, we're about to get a new outfit, I think. Ambush to arms. Chunberries. <laughs> like stabby stab. Have you been running your dungeons? Me? I have been, yes. Like all the little, like on my data. Stabbing the dodo.
<laughs> Dodos are cute. Retreat. Come back, we just want to talk to you. Oh well, you have to die. Let the burp on your level 10 and tell me if you think they're cute. <laughs> That's true. I didn't think I encountered them on level 10 at all. Wedge, you should have stayed with the ship. That was a close one. Too damn close. But how'd she look anyway? The auxiliary propeller is a dead loss, but I think we can wring enough thrust from the main propeller to get us airborne. They put so many stat effects on you, and at that level, you can't get them off, evil creature. A few minor modifications, and we should be able to fly to the tiny Bronco home. That's the tiny Bronco? It looks pretty big. We'll stand watch until the ship is ready to take off. The Imperials will come looking for their scouts eventually, but I doubt they'll get here for a good while yet. They look like the green giant guy. You're free to return to Milstrom Command and complete my induction. Thank you. My satchel or whatever I get. Ordinarily, I'd ask you to stay, but I think we'll feel better knowing that Adventure of Your Ability was safely sworn in and ready for the next mission. Rest assured, I'll inform Command of your part you play today. Hmm. I want to say sorry, you know, for calling you an Imperial spy and all that. I got that one wrong, didn't I? Seriously, though, if it hadn't been for you and the Maelstrom lads there, we'd be chained up in a dungeon right now. I am in your debt, friend. We both are. Remember when the Redcoats were at the height of Zorian fashion? <laughs> Thank you. We're very grateful. Oh, he was telling her, like, mind your manners. My level is no longer synced. Okay, so... I gotta get back here. Whoops. Go ahead and teleport. Hey, Moy, were you able to get into your account? So weird because I feel like you were just in the account and all of a sudden you can't you can't get in it. Okay, I tell you. I'm going in the wrong direction. <laughs> um what? Oh wait. Oh, it's because you deleted the game? This place is truly beautiful, though. You missed the combo. Welcome back. I just heard the report. You need to be concerned about the engineers. They've completed their return trip without further Imperial interference. I must admit, I had my doubts at first, but it seems the stories about you are true. 
I look forward to seeing what else you're capable of after you're properly inducted into the Maelstrom's course. Now, speaking of your induction, red dye. Am I going to be wearing red now? Quest complete. Okay. Game, game exhibiting you the back game. So with PlayStation, whatever PSN log, that's think is stuck. So make sure you're using the same PSN to log in. Let us start afresh, shall we? Uh oh. They look like Christmas characters, though. Yeah. See? You are welcome here. That is such a well respected adventurer would choose to join our ranks is most heartening. Before you swear your allegiance to us, however, it is only right that I tell you exactly what it is you will be joining. A grand company is more than a more than simply a collection of soldiers. It is an all-encompassing organization which draws upon the resources of an entire city-state to form a united military force capable of standing against the nation's deadliest enemies. We of the Maelstrom are charged in meeting the threats posed by the Primals and the Garlean Empire and resolving many problems caused by the Calamity. You will have to learn how to dye your gear there is a quest in Horizon for that. Be sure to take orange juice with you. What? Yeah, maybe you'll just start fresh and then create your, pick the name you want. Every man and woman who serves under our clothes has a role. Because you know what? That actually might be a good idea, Kmoy, so that you can follow the storyline as is written. Every man and woman who serves under our colors has a role to play in keeping the great warship that is Limsa Lamisa afloat. Or whatever headings Chief Admiral Merle Webb blah, 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 sees fit. As part of this grand vessel's crew, you will be expected to take your turn at the at the oars. With the winds not wait, for the winds do not look favorable, lass, and strength of arm may be all the seas are safe to port. Yeah. If you've if I've lost you with the talk of ship and oar, let me put it another way. A maelstrom soldier labors till her last breath, fights till her last drop of blood. I'm reconsidering this alignment. We give our service to this nation, and no less is expected of you. ETV, it is customary for new recruits to swear an oath of their own choosing upon entering the maelstrom's rank. Is there aught you'd like to say? You have my sword. The sea swallows all. Yeah, go ahead and log in. You don't know your password with your old account from 2015? What old, old account? And I have no doubt we'll need it. Keep your weapons close at hand, lass. I hereby assign you the rank of Storm Pirate 3rd Class. You're officially a soldier of the Maelstrom. Yay. Welcome aboard. May you serve Limsa Lamisa well till sea swallows all. You're behind your shadow box when you put your orange juice. I'm getting a phone call in my brain, in my brain case. Do you hear me? This is Mimsulia, an officer of the Maelstrom contacting me with your news of your enlisted. Thank you. I mean, private. Congratulations. What is wrong with me? I have no doubt that you're eager to make the acquaintance of your new comrades, but I would ask that you pay a visit to your old one first. Remember, though, that you are now a woman of the storm. You are no less a scion. Please return to the waking sands at your earliest convenience. No! There are some friends here that I would like you to meet. We shall be waiting. No rest for the wicked, eh? Before you make yourself scarce, I recommend having a word with Commander Riki. Might be worth your while. You right here? What, what are they staring at? 
Uh, you may now accept the quest, My Little Chocobo. The quest must be completed in order to proceed to the end of the main scenario. Uh-oh. Okay, so now I can get her. I see you, Shadow Boxy. You are now a member of a great company have been assigned the rank of the private third class. It's your grand company and rank can be confirmed at any time during the profile tab. Yeah, there is a problem with the with that notification. Grand companies pay their members not in guild but in company seals. Oh, is this the one you were talking about? The currency? The other currency? No, that has an M in it, no. You can confirm how many seals are currently in your possession under the currency. Seals can be earned. Oh, okay. Can be earned by completing various Grand Company missions. Ooh. A Grand Company Quartermaster is stationed at each Grand Company headquarters and will be exchanged items, Company Seals. Company Seals are only redeemable with Grand Company that issues them. All right. You're going to have a bunch of them. You'll learn them as you go. The Grand Company of Eurzia. Eurzia are currently constant need of supplies and provisions to maintain their daily operations. Adventurers can earn experience points and company seals by crafting or gathering the items required and delivering them. Speak to a grand company personal officer or one of the many officers stationed throughout the room to complete the delivery. Items sought change every day. Earth time. They can be confirmed by selecting timers located. Okay, cool. So it's not a game time. It's actually real time. Nice. All right. So... You know what? Remember we went somewhere you're like, oh, you want me to, I was supposed to pick up a, a, a challenge with an X with a cross on it. I don't think I ever did that. It just hit me. <laughs> oh, shadow boxing. Hello, friend. All right. I don't even know how to do all that. How do we unlock stuff? Eventually. Your character is gorgeous. I like where my my pet is. You're so rude, pet. Learn some manners. Alright. <laughs> teleport. Okay. So I gotta go to find a... I gotta go find a crystal to teleport to, right? No, oh, wait. I can just teleport here? Teleport to Western Talana. Horizon? Okay. Check it out. I'm gonna have to get you to all the little little secret thingy that you can do in the game. Alright. Over here. Oh. How cute. We're going on a trip on our whale ship. If only Axe could see me now. <laughs> this, this is literally so peaceful. Like ASMR. Trading? I don't want to get jealous while you're over here making a spinning wheel. <laughs> Trade? Okay. Yes. What are these? Orange shoes. Mm -hmm. You weren't kidding about orange shoes. <laughs> okay, so he's literally right here. See, if it can work on a Mac, I'm sure your PC should be able to handle it. I'm not downing Macs, because I used to be like a big Mac head. I have a few Macs in this house and a MacBook. 
but I really wish... No, 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 Quebec. Okay, I really wish I had bought a gaming laptop instead when I bought my MacBook. The quest was right in front of us with the die quest. Oh. Let me come back out. Wait, where was he? You see here, you come here, he is. Color your world. Okay. Accept. Oh, wow. You there. Yes, you. The decisively unfashionable adventurer. Wow. Got to be good. Never in my life have I seen such unapologetic focus on function. <laughs> wow, he's calling me sloppy. Focus on function as an extreme cost to form. The mere sight of you makes my eyes bleed. He is so shady. As a lover of all things aesthetically pleasing, I cannot in good conscience allow you to continue roaming the realm in such a starry state. I believe your appearance can yet be salvaged through the use of color. I will teach you how to go about dyeing your outfit, but first I must have a drink. The heat has given me vicious thirst and I won't be able to talk any longer. This is Kamoy. Kamoy needs orange juice like he needs like oxygen. Be a deer and buy me a bottle of orange juice at the stall by the northern gates would you once i have moistened my throat he even uses the word moist we shall see the business of remedying your appearance okay so now i can just give him right pray tell have you bought my own shoes unless you have forgotten the per merchant who sells it okay so do i have to go there and buy it or just give it to him right okay i just take one wait how do i split Wait, how do I split it? Oh, split. Here we go. Um, where did it go? Okay, there we go. Wait, hold on. How many did he need? He needs 10? Oh, he needs 10. Wow. I thought I had... <laughs> they are very savage. The game will take what it needs. You don't need to do it all. You can just hand it over. It will only take one. Oh, okay. Go. Phew! That was a relief. Finally, I can teach you how to bring color into your life. There are handy items called colorants, which allow folks to dye their outfits with a veritable rain a variety of rainbow colors. I just ad lib. The colorants are so simple to use. Adventurers have no excuse to be fashion unconscious. Now, who told her she was fashionable? Look at this. Like every color on. Lest you worry about dyeing will affect your garment's precious properties you may rest assured will not the part the practicality your adventurers love so much will not suffer from this change of appearance a change is for the better okay so we're gonna get a little bit of color you finally got in kmy yes she looks like a crayola box so she has the audacity exactly like look at this what look at the boobs it should also gladden you to know that garments can be dyed repeatedly, so there's no fear of getting... <laughs> You're on PC? Nice. No fear of getting locked into one color. The garish pink that seems to look so wonderful idea after a dozen glasses of red wine can be undone. I told you this was K-Moy. Oh my gosh. First of all, use the word moist. You've been talking about red wine all day long. And this is all you need to know about dyeing gear. Now, what are you waiting for? Get out there and bring some color into your life. Complete. Okay, so dyeing. I told you. You are now able to dye items. To dye a piece of gear, you must first have the proper colorant. Colorants can be crafted or purchased in stores. Once you have the proper colorant, dyeing an item is as easy as selecting a dye icon from actions and traits. There's no limit to how many times an item can be dyed. Dye can also be removed by using an item called carabint. Carabint. Similarly, if you wish to paint a housing fixture, you can do so by selecting dye or accessing housing within the social menu. Alternatively, furnishings can also be painted. Oh, this is going to be so fun when we finally buy a house. In a year. It's gonna take like a year. 
We have a lot of Beyonce albums. Why? There's nothing wrong with loving the Queen Bee. Okay. No shame in that. Goddess. Welcome back. Lady Monphilia awaits you. Let's pretend you never said that. I didn't hear a thing. Welcome back. It seems you've wasted no time putting your skills to work. Lil Kim is a real queen bee. That's true. That's true. How do I know? Why? The recruitment officers called to regale me with the tales of your her heroics. The pride in his voice was palpable. Yes, Lil Kim is the OG. Yes, she is. She is the real queen bee. We scions are truly fortunate to have you with us. Now, when we last spoke, I said that I want you to meet some friends, did I not? Well, I neglected to mention that you've already met them. Touch for you. Please show them in. This way, sirs. Oh. Thanks again for getting us out of that mess. We owe you our lives. But I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Biggs. Of course you are, big guy. And I'm... I'm Smalls, Biggie Smalls. God, man, spit it out, will you? Wedge, at your service. I'm pleased to say that Biggs and Smalls will be staying with us for a while. Magitech driven contraptions such as an airship grows ever more vital to the city states of Eurasia. As a neutral party, it is judged that we Scion should serve as the keeper of this technology. Of course, for this, we need the knowledge of experts, and so we requested the assistance of Garland Ironworks, who very kindly sent us two of their finest engineers. So they're going to put it into a ring. Our happy family continues to grow. On behalf of the Scions, I bid you welcome to the Waking Sands. Look at him feeling threatened by a big man in the room. Look at him. Like every soul here, I love yours, yeah. Hey, Mo, you figure out what server you're on yet? And I count myself blessed. Oh my gosh. You know what? Let me see if there's a way to... Let me see if there's a way to... I don't even know why that one is popping up. Because that, that's been disabled a very long time ago. If there's a way to turn that off. Percent. Okay, I refreshed it a few times. Maybe it'll fix itself. I count myself blessed to have been given this chance to stand with you and fight for the future of the realm. Now you're just going to download any PC? Never have I known such fulfillment, such happiness. You should be able to figure out your character on PC too. All right, I'm going to talk to her again. Yeah, go do some investigation. What was it that I needed to do? Okay, I still need to dye my clothes, don't I? Now, having set aside the formalities, we have a favor to ask of you. Uriange, have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? They have been delivered to my desk by great wind. Aye, my lady. They arrived but recently. We have conducted a study at the behest of the Order of the Twin Adder. I like her hair. Papalimo, Ida, a synopsis, if you would. Our task was to survey the behavior of the Sylphs, a beast tribe indigenous to the Twelveswood. Oh, how to describe them. They look like gizzle greens, gizzle floating green. ones that worship the primal Ramu. Ahem. Though technically a beast tribe, sylphs are blessed with a comparatively personable <laughs> demeanor, conducive to, to peaceful communication. Do you connect to your landline? Offering us an invaluable opportunity to learn what the beast tribes know of the primals. While Ramu's existence is well documented, the sylphs do not, or perhaps cannot, summon the primal any longer. Insofar as can be ascertained, 
Until such time as we know, it would be unwise to assume that the threat posed by the Primal has passed. Which leaves Gridania with the added worry of not knowing what they should be worrying about. Park the whale bow outside, okay. In that regard, they are hardly alone. What we can say with absolute certainty is that Gridania has its hands full fending off Garuda. Who, I need hardly remind you, is among the most savage and terrible of all known primals. Is this the guy that they call, um, are these the people they call potato people? In short, it is essential that we approach the sylphs in as diplomatic a manner as possible. Words and actions can be misconstrued. <laughs> the only sure way to communicate our intentions okay. <laughs> is the echo. Queen, Winning the Silk's favor may well bring us a step closer to mitigating the threat of the primals. Will you help us? I am grateful. Lovely. Well, as much as I'd like to help, I'm afraid I would be of little use to anyone in Gridania. A veritable babe in the woods. Babe, Ida and Papalimo, however, should be able to see the forest for the trees. Is that not so, Minfulia? Indeed. You are willing? Full details? Oh boy. Drama. Leave it to me. Drama. Us, Ida! Us! <laughs> are these two together? Because they argue like they are. It's a potato, popoto, po po popoto. Speak to Varsal. Holy ox at the adder's nest. Okay. And the full details, you say. Hmm. <laughs> they're moving together as partners yes they're not my romantic partners okay oh wait i wish i had learned my skills of of uh of playing music. I could be playing music on here while we're riding. Yeah, Adder's Nest. Oh gosh. I go as planned. God, where am I going? My little pet is adorable. We know far too little of the sylphs. Delay any worthwhile plans. We must call upon the scions once more if we are to. Oh, beg pardons. Tis a terrible habit of mine to think aloud. But tell me, what brings you to Adder's Nest? Quest complete. What? So if you look at the top of your screen, you'll see a green icon and a timer on it. That's my buff. Okay, yeah, someone's telling me about a buff. Like, I get 100% buff for being in, like, these safe places. Hail, adventurer. I bid you welcome to the Adder's Nest. Do you seek to entwine your destiny with the Twin Adder? Morning, Commander. Sorry to disappoint you, but other business brings us here today. Eden, Puppy Limel, thank you. Always a pleasure to see the two of you. My men tell me your quest is in the name of Scion of Lake. Quite so, Commander. A little bird told us that the Twin Adder was in need of our adventuring prowess. Aye, your little song sung true. Sorry, your little bird sings true. No doubt you've heard that we're investigating the cliffs, the, the sills. That curious beast tribe 
that called the depths of Twelvewood home. You don't have to keep playing the Peloton until it's close to running out. Okay. The Sylphs are, for the most part, a peaceful bunch. Much to the delight of the Elder Seed Seer, who has no desire to see your people embroiled in yet another fruitless war. The Twin Adder is the same mind, and this precisely for this reason that the Sylphs relation to the Primal Rima is has raised a flag warning against our ranks. Friendly as they may appear, beastmen will be beastmen. That's true. Could there even be a sliver of a chance that the summoning of the primal might disturb the balance between Gridania and the Sylphic tribes? It is possible we cannot. Okay. So they basically don't want to mess up the balance of orders. Better be safe than sorry. Do we strike at Rama or leave the Sylphs in their own ways? Why? I think I'm just getting tired. That's why I'm like not talking right. Or leave the Sylphs to their own ways? This is the question, yet I find myself lacking ample knowledge to arrive at an answer. Opinions abound within Gridania, but to listen only to one's own is among the greatest mistakes a commander can make. That's true. Yet think, think about everybody else's um, ideas and wage which one is the best for you. I would hear from the other side, the Sylphs themselves, and seek an impartial party to serve as my liaison. That is where you scions come in. The Sylphs of Little Solace remain untempered and have held many a productive dialogue with our people. I would hear their candid thoughts on their tempered brethren. Brethren, that said, I urge you to exercise due caution. Sophic tradition and etiquette bear little resemblance to our own. It would not do to have any cross-cultural faux pas get in the way of productive parley. And wrote to Little Solace, two-hour meeting time. Alrighty. Thank you. Thank you for letting me ride on your whale. <laughs> I'll see you later. In route to Little Solace, you will come upon the Hawthorne Hut. Our officer stationed there can enlighten you on how to win the Sylph's favor. May your expedition be a worthwhile one. A friendly palaver with the Sylphs. That should be pleasant enough. The Hawthorne Hut, huh? Well, I believe the ferry departing from West Shore Prayer should take us straight there. A friendly palaver indeed. I hope this is as straightforward as you say, Pepalamo. Not be. Okay, so they're saying I can dye my clothes though. So maybe I should take a look at that. Let's look at our character. How do we go about dying stuff? I know you told me, but oh, and my um, need to upgrade these things. Repair. So if your gear has a little circle on the upper right, it is diable. Okay. I don't see anything. I don't see anything that's diable, I guess, right now. Oh, a little circle. These guys are. This my old stuff is, but nothing new. A second. Is this the same thing as this? 17, 22. I could have been wearing red this entire time. Wow. Okay. How about my hands? 17. this King. these the same boots 
I guess so. Yeah, y'all gotta teach me the ways. Ah, uh, so then you just right click on it. Okay. I know this one isn't diable, but I just changed my look a little bit. All right, now we got to go to this one here. You're gonna say something about glamour, but you think you have to be a crafter. Oh. Okay. Oh, guild. We haven't been there in a minute. Tell if it was if it was over or not, like the uh, what's it called, the peloton. I, the fairy docked at the base of this hill, will carry you across the lake to East Shroud. Wait, can I have four? Once you're ashore, head east, and you shall find the Hawthorne Heart without much trouble. Okay, wait, did I attune myself to this? Not yet. You're gonna say something about okay. I didn't read it twice. We're going on the ferry. Where are we supposed to be going? Yep, I know. Let's go. She doesn't have to be a crafter, but she does need to glamour prisms, which is right now she can get them from the market board. Until she gets them via company seal. Oh, okay. Wrong place. Oh. At the top of the slightly up for your screen, you will have a green running man. That is your Peloton icon. Oh, uh, okay. We did play Among Us with Aiden Ross last night. Who's Aiden Ross? The famous streamer? Oh, I see him. So it's 30 seconds. Nice. That's fun. person inside there you are indeed I am Emmeline of the twin adder I understand you're here to learn of the sylph yes for all their whimsy they are a wary lot particularly since the Empire has come to the shroud earn their trust however and they're as friendly as any folk they have their quirks but so do we all would you know more? You'd do well to speak to the master of this hut, Rolf. He's forgotten more about the Sylph than I'll ever know. Hmm? He got over 60 days. He was mad sus to me. Yeah, he liked it. What do you mean he was mad sus? Rolf Hawthorne, patriarch of the beekeeping Hawthorne family, is saying to be well versed in. Okay. Come to learn a thing or two about the Sylphs, have you? I'll tell you one thing. They're peculiar, Ferk. How peculiar, you ask? Well, let me tell you. They're, uh... Beg your pardon, friend. My memory's not as it used to be. I've seen much and much in my adventurous days, and it's in, it's a clutter in my noggin now. Though, I shared my stories with those around the hut, though. They, you might have luck with them. You don't want to know. Um, um, uh, um... Confused. Isabelle, 
The stills, yes. Father told me his stories plenty of times. What I've always found most captivating is how they, their concept of etiquette is almost completely alien to our own. You do best to not underestimate them on account of their childlike look, lest you face up with a mess of glyphs, squiggles, and chocobo scratches. <laughs> Where you at? One second. There you are. There's one of you anyway. They all look the same. The sills. And Verderate trickster and troublemakers. That's what they are. One day they're drawing marble faces on our masts. The next they're sending our young sentries falling to the bottom of a ravine. Tell them to stop or they and they just laugh at you. Both claims they harbor no ill will, but I dare say such pranks are no laughing manner. So they're very they're like childish and sh they're childlike and they're childish. Pretty much. Wait. There she is. They're triplets. The quickest way to a cribber woman's heart might be through her stomach, but don't even think of trying to foist your foodstuffs on a sylph. They'll sustain themselves simply by bathing in the sun. Oh, so they don't even need food. So Rolf once told me. So basically he can't remember anything, so he tells them stuff so they can remember for him. That's cute. Poor guy. What's wrong with him? He looks so young. Of course, of course, hearing your stories. Well, my stories has brought the memories flooding back to me. I feel like dancing. Yes, nothing. <laughs> and he started dancing for real. No, he didn't. Nothing brings people quite together like a little toe tapping. As Silk told me long ago, the dancing is a long honored greeting among their kind. You'll do well to remember this. It must help to favor our forest friends. I well, only we have one dance. Oh, you're still here? Great. There's one more thing you should know about the Sills. They don't take kindly to desk guests who show up empty-handed to earn their trust. You do well to bring a... What is it again? My wife Rosa and I were just speaking about it not days ago. Forgive me, friend. Speak to Rosa at the home. Her memory should prove more reliable than my own. Okay, now we gotta go find Rosa. with this bacon or life. You would think people wouldn't be having them as pets then, right? I want to join a fake. offering for the sills. Were it anyone else, I'd recommend a jar of honey, but I fear it wouldn't get you past their front doorstep, dear. No, their tastes more run more on the unusual. Are you, perchance, familiar with milk root? That's what we call the root that is the most fiendish seed kin, the ochu. When chewed, it exudes a cloudy liquid that is said to induce curious visions. Oh gosh. They like that wacky tobacco. You'd not catch me dead trying the stuff, but the sills seem to enjoy it to no end. I've not seen a Nochu around the comb in quite some time, but I did encounter a suspicious clump of grass the other day. Were you to stimulate it somehow, with some of this amber syrup perhaps, 
You might be surprised at what comes out. Good luck. Okay. Gotta pour some syrup on some weird root and see if it will work. baby sorry did i get it present milk fruit okay that wasn't too bad Wait, i was just here where'd she go no i have to go back to her husband ah. Teleport our way over there. I want to know what he was sussed about. You just can't leave. You kids can't like say that and then leave that as a cliffhanger. Oh no. Shoot. What did he say? Ugh. Milk root, but of course, those silks coy for cloudy stuff as quick as I do for a flagon of mead, the effects are just about the same as well. Any road, a gift of milk root will have the silks calling you a friend and a sister the moment they lay eyes on it. Now let me wrap that up for you. I'm starting to feel a bit woozy. Now what's wrong with him? Level 28. So he gift wrapped it for me. All right, nice. I've taken the liberty of lap wrapping your milk root well and good. This should keep it nice and fresh, not to mention spare you from the god awful stench. The sills love the stuff, but me, I'd rather bury my nose in chocobo dung. I dare say the reek even rivals the breath of a marble that put an end to my adventuring days. I can tell you that story another time. You have more important matters to attend to. Yes, the Sills are an eccentric bunch. But I've shared their company enough to know that they're kind of heart. Kind at heart. They're not shun those whose intentions are true. Okay. I can't wait to see them. May your parlay be a fruitful one, friend. Do stop by on your return. There's a flagon of full flower mead with your name on it. If you regale me with your adventurous tales, he'll just forget them five minutes later. Ah, I forget. Do not go tracing off just yet. Emmeline here would like to have a word with you. Travel in safety, friend, and do pass my regards to the winged ones. Okay, now we gotta switch over to him. It's good to see your knowledge of Sylphic culture has matured. I see no reason to delay your mission any further. Upon your arrival at Little Solace, seek out a young Sylph by the name of Cuxcomuxio. He has served as an intermediary between our people for many an occasion and has close ear to his tribe as elder. Okay. I see that Hawthorne has furnished you with some of the malodorous root. Those so adore. So they're just standing a snake. I have something far greater for you to deliver. A missive from the elder Seatseer herself. To summarize the letter's contents in brief, it vouches for the integrity of our envoy. That would be you and reestates Gridania's desire to maintain a harmonious relationship to our long-standing friends of the forest. The war with the Ixal has taken a toll on our resources. We can ill afford to get mired by another conflict. I need not impress upon you any further of the importance of this mission. May the 12 see you return with good tidings. All right, this might be the last mission we do today. We gotta go speak to this dude. Okay, let's see where we're at. 
Mm. Like we're just gonna foot it. Tough and tough and tough and tough. Oh. Oh my god, they instantly made me start to be like itch. Oh. Looks like when you're a certain a certain um amount over the level, they don't even bother you. Yeah, they really, really made me my skin crawl. Was pretty. Yeah, fakes are how you get your grand company sealed. Ah, so I should do those? But those are like if I actually accept the faith, right? You need them. So the ones that say my level, I'm six, six levels above. I should do those. Walking one is not familiar to this one. This one does not trust strange walking ones. Strange dancing ones might have a different story, but this one expects no such thing. Walking one should go home and leave this one be. Oh, wait. Perform a dance. Well, I only know the one dance. <laughs> you can sink your level to participate in the faith. Yeah. This one will welcome walking ones who move like these ones. If walking one would talk to this one, this one will under will answer. This one is a busy one, so walking one would speak a quick tongue. Walking one would bring gift to this one. Walking one is most kind. You just stinky crap. Walking one brings milk root. Milk root fills this one with great joy. This one gives thanks. Gives many, many thanks. You can level sink down. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop skipping over the fates then. I used to do them all, but then walking one carries messages for the elder one. This one will deliver the message to elder one. Walking one should not worry. <laughs> They're so cute. Hello there, we're on for us from Gdania. We're here to treat with your people. Hi, we've come to pay our respect to your elder and to learn from him more of your Lord Rama. Who are these ones? These walking ones come from Gridania? Let us people. Walking one becomes dancing one and brought milk root. But walking one tricked this one. This one does not like tricks. This one will speak no more. Elder one is busy. Walking one should go home. Man, go home, you say? But the slips. The sills of little solace have always been welcome, Gridanians welcome. Envoy with open arms. The letter carried by Zeke and Random here is an oath of peace penned by the elder Sincere herself. Still, you would refuse us? This one's reasons are no business of walking ones. Elder has no words with Gridania. Walking ones waste everyone's time. And they're snobby. Sluggish but up and moving. Can't wait to see what characters you make. I know, I can't wait to see your character came away that's his character is so cute well i never turn away at the gates whatever did we do to receive such a rude welcome was it my insignificant jiggy wow wow i'm as baffled as you but something tells me the recent events of our erstwhile fluttery friends feeling uncommonly wary it would seem that we have no choice but to ask around and see how we might earn their trust so they didn't like my dance. Boo. Wait, weakening silencing potion. Motor skills or sleepiness? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know your character's gonna be a cutie pie. Oh yeah, you can do a, a tall character or a short one. Hey, are you in the mood for dancing? Or are we going to learn some new dances? I hope so. You went through all that trouble to learn the traditional greeting, but you've greeted hardly any of them. 
Why, if I were a self, I'd be beside myself with delight to see such an adventure, expressing interest in my culture. Me, of course I'd be happy to join. Ow, ow. There goes those bloody lead cramps of mine. Oh, great. Dance. Okay. We gotta go dance for them. Walking one's belly is rumbling. This one is not making a meal. This one's boiling bark and flower seeds to die thread. Color must be jolly. And so must greeting making. Dave, can you take this phone call? It's the school with Theo's thing. Okay, so I gotta dance for her. Is there a shortcut to get to the dancer? Ooh, walking one knows jolly dance. You need to buy the game so you can send all your useless junk to all of you in the mail. You can. You're gonna win, K Moy. Whatever. I hope you like wooden clogs. Ah! You can type it in. Oh, like slash dance. Jolly dance fills one with good cheer. Let these two be friends. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay, let me try it for this next next character. More in the wrong direction. Not surprising. Mixia. This one is weaving cloth. Walking one would know more. This one does not trust walking ones who do not show respect. They are so untrustworthy. Oh, wait. You said just put dance. Slash dance. Uh, it says the it says is unavailable at this time when I type it in. Oh wait, maybe because I'm still talking to her? No, maybe I can do it now. Have to get out of the text. Oh, there we go. Walking one would be friend to these ones. This one is overjoyed, but this one keeps the ways of weaving a secret. Even if walking one learned the secret, walking one could not weave in the same way. Sounds like my mother. <laughs> not that my mom talks like that, but she's like always like super secretive about everything. This one is clearly a moth. Likes to hover by the light. Does walking one want with this one? Elder one warned us this one not to get friendly with the walking ones. Hi, <laughs> walking one is a friend to these ones. Friendly, like gracious elder one in Forest City. Knows how to dance into these ones' hearts. Okay, now we gotta report to Yida. Would you like to hear the good news or the better news? The good news is that your lovely dancing has brought smiles and high spirits to all the little solace. The great news? Why, I've thoroughly recovered from those leg cramps. <laughs> so she's made up some leg cramps. So she wouldn't have to dance. So we started off today, I think, with 12,000 gil. Or we're at 22,000 gil. No need to overthink things. So long as your heart is in it, the sylphs will understand you. No need to overthink. Okay, yeah. What is going on? Oh, he's the person I need to talk to is right here. As an adventurer, you're no stranger to helping distressed folk, I'd wager. Tales of good deeds are quick to spread. The adventurer who comes to the aid of the local populace can go from stranger to hero overnight. No doubt you can see what I'm getting at. The sylphs who make their home in Little Solace do so 
Having been driven from their woodland home, surely they have their fair share of trouble. Oh, poor little guys. Seek out trouble cells. See what they, what might be done to ease their worries. A sound plan. That said, the cells are not known to share their worries with outsiders. You would do better off inquiring the hearer and media of the Grenadians who reside here. He is most likely to be privy of the cells' troubles. Okay, so there's like a. She's like their consulate. She's a witch. Praise be to the elementals. I cannot express how happy I am to see an adventurer with truly gentle heart. The sills of Little Solace are solely in need of aid. Pray hear me out. Okay, yeah. Being a temporary settlement, Little Solace wants for amenities, not least a stout set of defenses. Let me check this check. Consequently, consequently, beasts from Malms around are free to wander in and terrorize hapless residents. The Zig Gorlins and Galnat <laughs> that roam these parts are especially troublesome. The slaying one of each should serve as a warning to the rest. Okay, so we gotta go kill one of each. Furthermore, perhaps you should gather three brawny brushes as well. They play an important role in Sylphic culture. I do not claim to know the details or what such feral beasts prowling the, the forest. They are not easy to come by. Why is my phone suddenly going crazy? When you are done with the deeds, seek out Almaxio. He is slow to warm to outsiders, but your good intentions will not be lost on him. My own experience speaks of this. All right, so we got to go and slay a big Gorlin. Let's do this. There they are. They're beautiful. Why am I pressing six? You're dead. Ah, so slay your brothers. Okay, I'm killing things faster than I expect now. Okay, let's see. What is that glistening over there? A brownie brush. Imagine if brownies grew out of the ground. Yummy. All right. A gall mat. All right. Oh, wow. Oh wait, that is not even the right one. Okay, wait a second. I didn't even go, I didn't even kill the right thing. I gotta turn back around and go this way, I think. Little beam is a muscular. Let's see so the brownie i think the brownie brush are the tiny circles and then the, the things i actually have to kill are yikes i'm a little 
sound they're making. What? I'm not ready yet. Action not long. Uh, what is going on? Oh, I'm pressing control. Ooh. Oh, but I just learned a trick. So if I press control and my MMO mouse, it picks from the second hop bar. Nice. Okay. I didn't even think to do that. All right, we got that one. Okay. Let me go join this fate. I can earn these uh these things. Lazy Lawrence. Unable to attack fake your list. I'm too high. Okay. It won't let me. Have you been doing my class quest for abilities? Hmm, how would I check that? I think I've been doing it. Level sync. Oh wait, never mind. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Where's my health buff? Where's my health buff? Which one is my health buff? Oh gosh. Where is everybody? Oh gosh, get out, get out, run! Run, run! I'm about to die, I'm about to die! Oh yeah, what it is! <laughs> There's a class job quest every five levels? Oh, wow. Oh, somebody come and revive me! <laughs> I'm looking for someone to help me! Oh no. Where am I right now? You're coming? Okay, I'll wait. <laughs> I thought my eyes were open. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'll just sink myself down. Wrong. The dude was over that was over here left. He probably died too. Okay, so their levels class job quest for every five levels. Oh my gosh, really? I have not been doing that then. Taking a little nap. I'm totally taking totally taking a picture. You're coming to revive me? <laughs> oh my gosh. I should have known better. Just take a nap. Just a little nap. I've been working so hard. Oh, look at this outfit. Wait a second. Wait a second. Look at how cute she is. Look at this outfit. Except. <sighs> Just so sort of relaxed. So refreshed. Thank you so much. A quick health buff. Oh boy. Right? What other game do you know somebody's gonna come and rescue you? You know? I don't deserve it. Am I even in the faith or did I just play that dude for no reason? Wait. I'm nowhere near it. I just killed him for no reason. Oh, 
also. Yeah. Take a look. Oh, cute. Like a little one hip thing. Love it. Take a look around. Foxy Mama. Quick knock is a cone ability. So it hits them. Yeah. I figured that out. It's I'm gonna call them back. Call them back. Because I was in the middle of the call with them. Yeah. And call drop. I thought they're gonna. Oh. That's really cute. So you're hitting all of them closer together. Yeah, I like that one. That's like one of my favorite, actually. What was that? You can examine me to get a closer look. Oh, that's true. Over here. Jeez. Okay, so your so your defense is just crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I like your hair too. It's so cute. Weakness buff. In your eyes. See how my eyes are one light purple, one dark purple? Nice. I like those boots. Very nice. You need likey. I gotta find some, a brownie bush and then go and take this stuff to these people. <laughs> a weakness buff? Okay, so these, okay, you said it's quests. Quests for my um, abilities. I don't think I've been doing those now that you've mentioned it. this thing where is it right there it is go back to the archer's guild and you're done okay and that's where i can go ah uh, i see here's a faith right here i can purchase it. Thanks. Ooh, they look really angry Hold on a second. Am I the only one here? Oh, there is. there's somebody else here now. Can't see crap. I call all these guys. Product area, use this, we'll get you killed faster. Oh. 
really? Bigger poles and dungeons and you can hit multiple mobs. Oh. Yes. That's what I'm Oh. How many do we have? So I was wondering, like, it felt like I should, my, my skills should be stronger by now. <laughs> That makes sense that I'm supposed to be doing some stuff for them. Ew. Pass gas on all of us. We're just supposed to be going after the trees, no? Valor Targo, he's dead. Oh, they're all dead. Sometimes it's hard to tell that he's dead one for the from the thing. And if you're only doing this for fate, only hit the mob that has the pink star symbol. Okay. Okay. I was talking to the branch. Okay, so the mob, like, oh, you're still saying, oh, oh, did he just respawn? Or is he dead? Oh, you said only hit. Okay, I see. I see. Pink star. Okay. If the mob with yellow or red, it will aggro you. Oh, okay. This passive would not aggro. All right, all right. Learning. 
Yeah, I felt like my skill should have been stronger by now. So, I wasn't catching up to do it. Target. them aggroing me all right <laughs> okay I gotta get them off my tail come on I focus on the stuff that's important <laughs> is that Groot? <laughs> Groot thing bad brother maybe Go. Bye. Uh, we did it. Yellow to red dot. It will aggro. Hmm. Blue around it. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Can outrun you. Did he lose interest? I think he did. <laughs> Dancing one is still here. Dancing one can dance all day. This one trusts not so easily learned. Okay. Oh, I mean, sorry, earned. Hmm, dancing one bring brownie brushes for this one. This one can dye thread once again. This one is pleased. Dancing one's killed bitey buzzy one. This one hates, 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 hates bitey buzzy one. Dancing one is kind, too kind. Many walking ones come with these ones abode. But a few are friendly like dancing one. Perhaps this one was wrong not to trust dancing one after all. What are we saying dancing one all day long? She wants me to go get some potions, but I'm going to end it here because stream is supposed to end at three. Um, so I don't want to end up going over. But yes, I appreciate you guys' help today and hopping in the game and helping me finish things and ride me around on a beautiful whale. I mean, oh my gosh, this game is just absolutely amazing. And I love the community as well. And you guys have my thanks. Uh, we'll be back on tomorrow. Uh, stream should start at seven. A uh, car alarm is going off. Who's in there? <laughs> Imagine a car alarm going off after I, while I'm giving a speech. Thank you. I appreciate you, Shakora. And um, everyone else. I'm glad you're enjoying the game. Yes, I'm definitely enjoying the game. So we'll be back on tomorrow at 7. Uh, pretty much 7 to 3, Monday through Friday. That's the schedule. Weekends are off right now, but I might have that time to get on here. We shall see. But if you're not in my Discord yet, go ahead and type in estimation mark Discord. I'll do it for you. And you can join the Discord. Um, pretty active in there. Thank you. I appreciate you, Soraya, as well. And Moon. I know Moon went to a meeting. But I am out. Let's see. I haven't raided anyone in a few days. We'll do that today. Yes, Axe. Axe, what level are you on now? Now, if you guys have anyone that you think is uh 
would love a raid, let me know. Take a look at the Final Fantasy category. Still 20, this botanist has to running over. Yeah, I got to figure out how to do my, my quest for leveling up my actual traits. So I'm going to look that up on YouTube. 60 year old gamer and father of three gamers. Aww. He's like me, but I'm not 60. I'm going to help with your mind then. Yeah. Back to original guild, you think? Let's see. Looking, 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 looking. I don't see anywhere. I see myself. Hi, me. Hmm. She's starting an alt. Oh, she has 2.4k followers like I am. All right, let's go ahead and raid a new person. You should be able to do it quickly since you have the levels already okay yeah let's all get together um hopefully we can all get in together tomorrow and see what we can do but yeah let's go ahead and raid eve i don't know her hopefully she's nice <laughs> you guys can report back and let me know somebody's gonna say a quick hi and pop on out i'll see you guys later enjoy your afternoon